Jenny from Origami Tree, bringing you free crafty fun all year round. And today we'll be learning how to make an origami dress and also a hanger that goes with it. Now before we jump into the video, if you are new to this channel, be sure you hit the subscribe button. Also turn on notifications to be alerted of new crafty fun videos when they come out. I post a new video every single week, would love for you to join me. And without further ado, let's jump right in. To make the origami dress and coat hanger, you're going to need a square sheet of paper a paper clip, round nose pliers and also a side cutter, some ribbon, and a pair of scissors. First take your sheet of paper, flip it around so that the pattern side or the color side is facing down away from you, and then fold the entire thing in half. Unfold. Bring the right side to that vertical center crease that you just made. Repeat the same thing on the left side. Now let's flip it around. And now we're going to align the right side to that vertical center crease. So there are two layers. So right here and right here. You're going to grab both of them and then fold it over to that center crease. Just like that. So now from the top, you can see that we've made a little Z fold or a zigzag. And now let's do it one more time. We're going to do it on the left side. We're going to take the both layers and we're going to align it right to that vertical center crease. And crease it in. And now the top should look like this. Now let's take the entire thing and fold it in half. Now we're to take the top flap and we're to fold it up a little bit, about a centimeter. So that looks like this. We have another Z or a zigzag right here. So now let's flip the entire thing around. This is going to be the bottom of the dress and this is going to be the top of the dress. The bottom of the dress is slightly bigger than the top. And so what you're going to do is you're going to pull this side, the right side, towards the right. And then basically just until it won't go any further. So right about there, and then you're going to crease it and flatten it. So it creates that little flare at the bottom. Do the same thing on the left side. So we're going to pull the left side towards the left as far as it will allow you to go and then flatten. Now let's turn it around and we're going to work at the top over here. So we're going to take this over here, this corner, and we're going to fold it diagonally to the vertical center line. And we have a little triangle here. Do the exact same thing on the left side. So we take the left side, we're going to fold it diagonally to that vertical center line right over here. And now you have another triangle. Unfold the two flaps that you just made. And then from the top view, you're going to see that there is an opening right over here. So you might have to ply it open a little bit, but there's one right here. See that? So with this opening opened, you're going to basically push downwards with your right and left hands at the same time along that pre-existing crease and then flatten. Now you notice there are two flaps that are separated you're going to do the left flap first, so you're going to take this corner and you're going to fold it diagonally. Just like this. And now you see the pattern um, triangle is showing through. Do the same thing on this side, we're going to fold it diagonally, align it to the horizontal line right here. Now you notice there is a white rectangle here, you're going to grab the entire thing and just bring it over just like this. And now when you do that, you'll also notice that this flap over here kind of just wants to go with it, like it's not going to flatten. And so what you want to do is you want to tug this outwards or to the right. And then you can angle it however you want. You can go like this for a poofier dress or like that for a slimmer dress. So I'm going to do a little poofy like that and then crease it in. Do the same thing on the left side. So you're going to take this rectangle over here. I'm going to bring it over to 
the right. Just like that. This is going to want to go with it and then you're just going to flatten it and angle it however you want. So I'm going to try my best to do the exact same thing on the uh, left side as I did on the right side. So kind of just make sure they're aligned and then crease it in. And now there are two flaps over here which we're going to fold out like this. Fold it on a diagonal and this is going to create the sleeve of the dress. So I'm doing the left side and then doing the right side. And when you flip it around, your dress is complete. To add a finishing touch to the dress, I'm going to wrap a ribbon right along the center. I just think this gives it a little bit more flair. It's super cute. Now that the dress is completed, we're going to work on the hanger. And for that, you're going to need a small paper clip. First, you're going to separate the inside from the outside. So let's just pry it open a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit. And now take the smaller part of it, which is the bottom part here, and we're going to take that and we're going to bend that upwards. Just like this. So you see how it intersects right over there? What you want to do is you want to take your rounded pliers and you're going to basically bring it out to the left right at that intersecting point. So let's go like this and I'm just going to angle it out like that. So now you have this little portion here, which is the main part of the hanger. And then this portion over here, which is going to be the hook at the very top. So now we want to make this hook over here slightly shorter and also a little wider. So I'm going to take my rounded pliers and then round it out. So now it looks like this. Now I'm going to grab my side cutters and I'm going to cut right about over here. So I don't want to um, see the excess over here. I don't want that part. So I'm just going to take my side cutters, go in right over here and snip it off. And you can take your rounded pliers again and kind of fix it up a little bit. And that is how you make a mini hanger out of a paper clip. So now that our hanger is complete, we're going to put the dress on the hanger. So you're going to flip the dress around and then you're going to slip the hanger in like this underneath this first flap and then underneath this flap and then straighten it out. Turn it around and your dress on a hanger is complete. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed making that origami dress and paper clip hanger. If you would like to see more crafty fun videos like this, be sure you hit the subscribe button. Also turn on notifications to be alerted of new crafty fun videos when they come out. If you'd like to support this channel even more, you can check out some of the swag that I have. I have Hello My Crafty Friend mugs, t-shirts, towels, you know, things like that. So I would really appreciate your support and I will see you guys next time. Bye.